Okay, in this video we're just going to recall order of operations a little bit. This is definitely something you should have learned before, um, but we often use the acronym PEMDAS, or please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Um, I'm writing it in this way so that you really can see the hierarchy of the order of operations. So P stands for parentheses, um, but really this could be any grouping symbol. So it could be um, parentheses, it could be brackets, um, it could even be when you eventually get to things like radicals. So any sort of grouping symbol, absolute value, any of those things would be under the P. Um, e stands for exponents. Uh, multiplication and division are both on the same level. So um, you just work from left to right. If you have, if you're, if you've got it down to just multiplication and division, multiplication doesn't come before division. It's just these are both on the same level, and you just work from left to right. And same with addition and subtraction. You just work left to right like the way you read. And so um, again, addition doesn't come before subtraction necessarily. It's just whatever you see first, left to right. So um, we're going to be focusing in this unit on ones that have to do with exponents. Um, we're going to be doing lots of problems that require us to use order of operations correctly, something like this. So notice that here we have parentheses, but there's nothing to do inside the parentheses. There's nothing to do inside the bracket. So this is just a number 1.05, but we are raising to the um, an exponent, and the exponent has some multiplication in it. So um, if we were working on order of operations, we would first do that multiplication up in the exponent, and this is 1.05 to the 12th power. From there, we would actually raise the 1.05 to the 12th power before multiplying it by 5. So the 1.05, so let's actually just look at how we do that in the calculator. Uh, we take our 1.05, and then this is our to the 12th power equals. Um, and so we get 1.795, 1.795, and I give, if I give a couple more decimal places um, just to get the point. And then what I would do in the calculator is actually just keep that answer stored in there and then multiply times 5 to get an answer that doesn't need any rounding. So um, altogether we get 8.97928. Okay, and I would take advantage of the calculator so you don't worry about rounding. Um, here's another example of order of operations, and students will often accidentally combine these negatives first, but um, by order of operations, we are squaring first this negative 3, and what does it mean to square a number? It means to multiply it by itself, and then this negative sign is just like a negative 1 coefficient. So we are squaring the negative 3 first and getting a positive 9, then multiplying by the negative 1. So we're going to be left with the result of negative 9. So hopefully um, this all made sense. If not, you definitely need to review the order of operations um, on page four of the e-text.